Oh, no, 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 no. We've gone the wrong way. We've gone the wrong way. I think so. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is this place? Oh, no. Something's breaking through. Something's breaking through. Welcome back, everyone. Grogen here. And today we are back with the door in the basement. This is our third episode. And the first two, the game is creepy. The game is creepy. The jump scares aren't that bad, right? It's like a pixelated kind of game if you haven't seen the first two. So the graphics are meant to look like this. <laughs> They're meant to look like this. So we are going to carry on where we left off, which I can't actually remember what we were doing. We are in some creepy little place. I think we came through that hole there and we are going to go down this way. So we've got to crouch down through here. And you can already hear the music, can't you? The sounds in this game give you goosebumps. They give you goosebumps and it's, it's kind of good. It's quite fun. So we are coming into this room. What can we see? I don't know what that is in the background over there. We've got a box with some stones. It looks like a mine. Oh, we've got another one of these guys. Hang on. Let's um, have a look around before we speak to him because he might... He might uh, chase us or something. There's a leg on the floor. <laughs> There's a leg on the floor. Right, let's go and see what he says. Some of these guys, right? Some of them are nice. Some of them just talk to you and others try and kill you. Buddy, buddy, he'll make you better. Better than what? I don't trust him when he's standing behind, standing behind me. Oh, I don't like this already. There's too many noises rattling around our heads. Oh, hang on. There's someone there we can see. I think we're going to have to dodge this guy. I think we're going to have to dodge this guy. I'm not sure. Is he going to start walking back? Because we can see through these boxes for a reason, I think. <sighs> I don't want to go through here. He's gone. Oh, there's something here to press. What's this? Inspect. The handle is missing. Oh, we got to find a handle. we got to find a handle. Right, wherever that guy was, he's not here anymore. He's not here. So, <laughs> let's just keep going. Right, I don't know whether I can see something moving in the background over there, right? Or if I can just see the pixels moving. We're going to find out, aren't we? We're going to find out. I know we're going to get lost in here and we're going to have to run away from something. Again. <laughs> Some weird blue lights on the left side. Like, oh look, there he is. There he is. He's got a knife. He's got a knife. Where's he going? Right, he is just backwards and forwards. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to get him to run after us. And we're going to have to go in there and find something. I know it. Let's just check. I think he's just going to pace backwards and forwards. He is. Right. We can't see a handle in this room yet. Oh god, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Run away. Hey, right, we're going to go all the way to the end of this, round that thing at the bottom. And turn around. What's that on the floor? Oh, that's a leg or something. Hey, right, he's still coming. Right, we want him to get a little bit closer. And we're going to go, we're going to go. And we're going to keep running all the way back and we're going to go into his room. And see if we can escape. Or see if we can find whatever it is in here we need to collect. We got it, we got it. And he's still there, he's still there. We need to run. We picked up a handle for the bridge. Now can we escape? It's horrible not having a weapon to fight with. He's still coming, he's still coming. Oh, turn, 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 turn. He's going to get us before we get to it. Go on, quick. Ah, he did. He did. Run. Oh, no. Oh, we've got nowhere to go in this way. I don't know why we just ran this side. I can't see nothing. I don't know whether he's still here. I don't know whether he's still here. He might turn and go back. Is he walking away? He's walking away. We're good. Oh, that was horrendous. That, that was horrible. Right, we're gonna... I think he's stopped. Oh, we carried on going. Right, we're gonna have to go nice and slow here. Try not to get his attention. We can't see him, no. We can't see him. There he is, round the bend. 
Right, if he goes back downstairs and walks off, we can do the rest of that bridge without him seeing us. Maybe we should have ran this way the first time and lost them. I don't know. <laughs> I think some of it's lying aside. If they can't see you, they don't keep coming. There's a shadow. Has he gone? Has he gone? think so I can hear him walking but I can't see him oh look the bridge is we got the bridge down let's go across quick before he sees us can we lift the bridge back up I don't know I don't think so oh, he's coming he's coming he's seeing us we gotta run. We gotta run. Oh, keep going, keep going. The noises are spooky as well. Hopefully we're faster than him. Oh my god, what is that? Gotta go, we gotta go. We can't stop and wait. Because that other guy might still be following us. He didn't actually... Um, Do you reckon he'll kill us? Can we, should we go back? I don't want to go back. <laughs> I don't want to go back. Whoa, the lights all just come on. That other guy isn't still chasing us, though. I'd like that big guy to kill him if he come. Oh, when we turn back this way, look, it's dark. And, and then the lights come on. Oh, no, who are you? I didn't see you a minute ago. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, he's creepy. He's just staring at us. What about you? Oh, I don't want to be in here. I've got a feeling they're all just going to start chasing us. It's so dark as well. All right, let's get up these stairs quick. Get up the stairs quick. It looks like aliens. Looks like aliens are watching us. All right, get through the tunnel. Maybe they can't chase us through here. Maybe, maybe. Oh, someone's sitting in a chair. <laughs> This is getting worse for us. Getting worse. Um, I didn't like that. Okay, we can go that way. Or we can go that way. What way do we go? Let's go this way first. Oh, Jesus. Does... Oh, it sounds like someone's running behind us. Hey, right, so this is the dead end. We're not going that way. I hope them people are all dead. Or they're not real. I don't know. I don't want to walk around in front of him because I didn't like the way he looked at us. <laughs> You've got like robot arms. Someone's doing some nasty experiments of some kind down here. Let's go. For the type of pixelated game is this, right? I never expect it to be so like creepy. Hey, we've got multiple ways we can go again here. Try the right side. Hey, right, we're on the other side of that rock that was broke. So it looks like this is the way we gotta go. This oh, there's another guy there. It says read the notes. Patient Benjamin Taylor. The patient has had several group therapy sessions, and his condition does not appear uh, not appear to be improving. We'll continue these sessions for a few more weeks, but if it's clear there's no improvements i'll begin administering emdr treatments don't know what that is additionally i could prescribe ben some antidepressants to aid in his recovery well antidepressants sound better than edmr oh you okay you're locked up you stay there you're good you're not oh yeah they're locked up on both sides what the hell is this place we have come here from our basements right which makes it even worse which makes it even worse. Hey, you're not locked up. Don't like the noise you make. <laughs> None of these are doors we can get in. I've got a feeling, right, we're going to turn around and it's just going to be like an army of them behind us. Oh, what's this? Oh, do we want to pull that? That's going to let them out, isn't it? That's... Oh, we should have got on it. We should have got on it. Let's hope we never mess that up. Let's go and press the lever again and bring it back down. 
make sure no one's coming behind us. Right, so we've got to press that and we've got to run and jump on it before it starts moving. Let's go, go, go. There we go, that's better. We're on it. And we're going up. We're going up. Don't regret going up here. Hang on, there's nothing here. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we can go in there, but wasn't there people in there? Now we just locked ourselves in the prison. And we're going to go down this big dark hole. <laughs> we are mad. Something wrong with us. Right. We're on some pipes. We can go down to that side. Um, do we want to go down that one? Maybe. Don't fall. Don't fall. I think we've died once in this game so far, haven't we? And we've come close a couple of times too. Right, that's that one. These are the kind of little puzzly things I like. <laughs> nice and nice and friendly. Okay, over. What the hell was that? Oh, that was close. That was close. Right, what side do we want to go? This side. And there's a box in the middle of the room. We can't interact with anything in here. Apart from them creepy noises. Creepy noises. Right. Oh, there's a note. Another note. While continuing my search for Zoe, I've come across a lot of machinery. It seems so out of place. What's the purpose behind the machinery? Who built it? I've tried questioning the inhabitants, but none of them would give me any answers. Don't worry. They'd say, how much did they know? I know they kept selling us. Don't worry. It sounds like spiders. It's probably just water. Right, let's just check over here first. The door we can't access. Okay, we're in like a little storeroom. With nothing apart from loads of blood. Nothing apart from blood. And a door at the other end. Where someone's been dragged out. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Something's breaking through. Something's breaking through. Run. Uh, that way. That way. That way. Right, it seems like that's okay. Right, we're going around the back of that room where someone was just trying to break out of. Is that another note? It is, it is. Patient Benjamin Taylor. I prescribed a small dose of anti antidepressants and begun to administer EMDR treatments. The combination of medication and this new treatments have been quite successful as Ben has seen much more calm, calmer during our sessions. While recounting the events at Green Valley Forest, he still experiences heightened stress, but to a lesser degree than only a few weeks ago. I'll continue this treatment for the next few weeks and keep an eye on how the patient improves in that time. That's not going to be Ben, is it? In oh, hang on. Can we go up there? We, we can, but there's no reason to. Um, maybe there is a reason to because it looks like there's nowhere else to go. Oh, this way. Right, like that. Right, are we going to drop down into some water by the looks of things here? Right, let's go this side. There's nothing in here. This could be a save room. Could be a save room. No, it's not. It's just a store room again. With nothing in here. Seems like a little hidey room, doesn't it? Should we leave that door open in case we've got to run from something? Right, there's a path to the left, a path to the right. No one through there? Or nothing through there? And we got a door down this way, but it's really dark. Makes me think that it's too dark. <laughs> I told you it was dark. <laughs> well, we're not going that way then. So, this way we go. We've got a door there that's locked. It doesn't sound locked anymore. Have right, we got a doorway in here? We've got... Oh, we got a torch. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> I knew you were there as well. We can't talk, yeah? Blind you. There's a note. There's another note. 
I've met some strange people down here. You're telling me. But one of them's particularly unnerving. I've never actually met them face to face, but I've been able to speak to them through small grates along the wall at various locations. They're sti sickly arm beckoning me from the other side. They're the little eyeball things. <laughs> what am I doing that for? <laughs> they claim to know the secrets about this place, but refuse to tell me anything unless I bring them eyes. The ramblings of another insane inhabitant, most likely. But what if they really do know something about this place? Would they ever be willing to sacrifice an eye for information? Could they help me find a way out of here? Marcus. Ah, you fuck. <laughs> Leave me alone, you. <laughs> God's sakes. Right, we've got the torch. To get down that dark corridor now. We found a save room. We found a save room. Let's just go and save it. We're in the waterworks. Right, so on we go. There's another door at the end down here. But we have got a flashlight now to see that other door. So let's check this one first. This one we can't get in. So we're going back. We're going back to where we came from. Hopefully that creepy guy stays in the room he was in. Hopefully. Press F to turn the flashlights on or off. Why would we want to turn it off? Or is it so no one's, someone doesn't see us? Maybe. Because maybe they can see lights. Right, let's get going. I hope it's not dark. Oh, it is. It's pitch black without the light. It's going to come up, isn't it? Saying, turn the lights off if you don't want to be seen. I bet you. <laughs> Any money. Any money, I bet you. Right, there's a doorway at the end. There's another note here, though. Everyone down here seems unable or unwilling to talk about what's going on. But occasionally, a piece of information, information spits, slips out. I can't get my words out. When questioning one of the inhabitants about the machinery and what purpose it serves, they actually responded, the pipes siphon water to the abattoir. It's the first coherent sentence I've heard from one of them. I tried questioning them further about this abattoir, but they quickly reverted to the usual, don't worry about it. Response I've been hearing from everyone else. I need more information. Why is there a slaughterhouse in this place? Marcus. Right, there's, there is a way down into that water, but I don't actually know if we can swim. So, maybe we've got to empty the water out. Maybe we've got to empty the water out. Oh, there's another guy in here. Another creepy guy in here. I'm not seeing anything else. But we've got to walk past him. Did that... Oh, no, it didn't shut. We can talk to you. Don't go in the water. Okay, don't go in the water. Is it good? Thank you. I wasn't planning on it anyway. What the hell is that? Jeez, I don't like this. What did we say? Oh, we've got an eye. So next time we come up against one of them things in the wall, we can ask it stuff. We can open this door. Got another creepy little room with water dripping down and stuff. So we don't want to fall in the water. But is there a way across? We might have to go in the water. Oh god, I didn't like that. Get across quick, get across quick, get across quick. I don't know what's down there. I don't, don't want to find out. Oh, I'm going. We can say in this. Is this going to empty the water out? I don't know what it's done. I don't know what it's done, but it's saying green. I think I know what it might have done. It might have emptied the water in that other sa other part. Because it hasn't done it in here. I'm just waiting for something to bite our feet. <laughs> I hear something splashing. So you said don't go in the water, right? But we did. We did anyway. Have we just... Oh, God, don't do that noise. No, we didn't empty any water in here either. So what have we got to do? I didn't see any of them eye things on the wall to speak to. But that door's been shut behind us. Maybe there's a few of them lights. Oh, we might have to go through that water. We might have to go through that water. I've got a feeling we do. We're going to have to go down there, right? 
Because there's two more orange lights. Yeah, we've got to go and turn them lights green. I can hear stuff splashing. We're going to just have to get in and run like a nutter. Oh, God. I can hear something. I can hear something. Get up the stairs. Here's where there's something worse upstairs than there is. Did that door just click? Oh, God. Do we have to do this? Every time I play one of these games, right, I question. I question my life decisions. So there's another set of stairs around there to the right. So we're going to have to be fast again. Is this deeper? Has this gone deeper? It feels like it has. Oh, that sounded close. It sounded close. Have we got a little light there? But another door we can't go in. But we can do this. Now I'm hoping that we empty this water out. It didn't. It didn't. Why? Why not? Oh, it's so deep. We've raised the water. We never lowered it. I feel like we're sinking. It's getting deeper. It's getting deeper. We need to get back out that first one, I think. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. But the water level is rising. The water level is rising, so we might need to go back into that other room. You tell us to stay out the water and we make the water deeper. Oh, we siphoned the water out of this part to go in the other part. Perfect. I think. Right, there's a passageway there. Don't know whether we can go in that ones. No, we've got to go through this low one. Let's just hope the water doesn't come back. Left or right? Oh, it looks like we're going right. And there was a creepy noise to the left. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go. Maybe we're going left this time. Round the bend. You there, this? Slide. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Where are we? It looks like we're in the same place. But we're not. Because the hole in the wall's missing. But obviously somewhere else. That doesn't look like somewhere else. Let's just check around this bend first. Make sure there's no one here. Right. The door at the end has got a glowing handle on it. So I think that's the one we're going through. Oh no. Whoa. We might have been right the first time. Uh, we can't go back that way anyway because we can't jump up to the the next floor. There's a lever we can't do. There's a door. We haven't had any reason to turn our lights on and off yet. There's a passageway up there. That's where we're going. Up the pipe. It is still... It is still really dark. We're going to have to keep our torch on for a bit. This is a long path. <laughs> oh, Jesus! I didn't like that. There's another floor below. Oh god, we fell through. <laughs> I didn't mean that. It's like we're in a prison. Oh god. Invalid configuration. Oh no, turn it again. Now do it, now do it. All right, is that unlocked the door? Oh, it's locked. But the walls are stopped. All right, now what? Oh, now we can open it. Do not like this room. Do not like this room. Right, there's no one in here anyway. That door we can't go through. There's one of them things that wants an eye. Secrets for eyes. We hand over the eye we found. 
The way is open only to those who have witnessed the unnatural. Only the eyes of one who has seen beyond their will can see the door, and only the witness may cross the threshold it calls to them. That makes no sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. But we've definitely seen the unnatural, so... There's that. Right, we're going upstairs onto this little grated floor. Right, that looks like a little save room, so we're going to go there. And this is... If this is a save room, that is where we're going to finish off for the day, because... <laughs> just because. Here we go. We can tell the save rooms because of them little things on there. But that is a good place for us to end the episode. Game saved. So that is where we're finishing off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying it so far. If you are new here, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the like button. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think so far. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.